you did a song, I didn't I didn't think the impact of it. Um, you know, faking the funk, man. I didn't think it would it would really be like a, a everlasting thing. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? Because I, I, that's not how I was thinking at that time. We were just thinking about okay, what type of record we gonna make? What we gonna say? We came up with the faking the funk and all that, but. I, it still didn't. It took me years to really realize, like, yo, like we created the saying and shit. Absolutely, Word. absolutely. Um, we just got done this Saturday. We was at the 35th anniversary of the video music box. Got to rock out. I got to rock out Definitely. with my brothers out scratching blase blase. Yes, yes, shout out to my brothers. Um, how good? 35 years. And how good wow. was it? I mean, <laughs> there's a little. <laughs> Mishap in the beginning. <laughs> I think a DJ was almost gonna go flying off the stage, but um, everybody kept about, their composure. Nice yeah. time. It was a nice oh, was crowd, beautiful. and yeah, the uh, crowd was beautiful. It was early. They came early. They came out early in that hot sun. They was out there early. My man called me up. He said, "Yeah, I'm out here." I said, "Yeah." I said, he, "I said, how's it?" He said, "Man, they just loud already." I said, "Damn, they out there already." Yeah, one o'clock. They wasn't playing. They wasn't because you didn't get to till like five. You know what I'm saying? I got there about three. So when I got there, I was like, whoa, this is going to be nice. It's going to be a beautiful day, man. So shout out to Ralph and Daniels, Ralph man. Games, beautiful, Kevin man. Lawrence, Kevin, everybody. Yeah, beautiful, I'm man. Ray DeJong. Ray DeJong. You know? Now, your first solo, how did it feel to make your first solo album? Oh, man. Um, at that time, um, it felt good, but it felt a little, uh, it was kind of challenging for me because at that time, I was always used to doing everything with Lodge all the time. We was always doing a lot of things together. So that was actually my first time just actually saying, you know what, I'm sitting aside and I'm doing a project and it's just me. So I got to I gotta pick the beats and I got to, you know, do all these things to make sure it come out the way I want it to come out. Um, you know, I had a couple of nice joints on that joint, but, you know, you after you make it, you know, I'm an artist, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like my worst critic. So, you know, I listen, I look back at all. It's funny that you said, because you're so used working with large folks. My next question is, right after you did your solo album, you and him did the collab album. Yeah, we did the album still on the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> so you went right back went to Went right back to working with right, Hey, listen, man, they got a saying, what's not broke, don't fix it, no right? No question. We I mean, got a great chemistry, work, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It you know, is. we got a natural chemistry. It's just natural, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I don't have to, like, I might not see large for three, four weeks. And if we got a show, we get on that stage and boom, we, we know exactly what to do. You know what I'm absolutely, trying to say? Absolutely. So, you know, it's just like that with us, you know what I mean? So it's, it's always a great thing. What was your inspiration? See, I unfortunately had the privilege to being at your listening party yesterday. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things I already know. <laughs> the listeners don't know. No <laughs> what was your, um, what was your uh, coming about to make this new album Hell Up in Queens? And Man, you know, um, I'm, I'm from that era, man. You know, I, I grew up on all of them 70s movies, man. Um, I collect them, to be honest with you. I collect them. I got my man on 125th Street, man. <laughs> I tell you, he been, he, this ain't no bootleg. It's a real dude. He got a, it's like two stores down from the Apollo up the up the long steps in the building. He been there for like 50 years, man. And he got all the movies from the 60s until now. You, know you still got a VHS? No, I don't have a VHS. <laughs> I do. Actually, you know I, do. I still got some VHS tapes though, yeah, and, yeah. and Betamax tapes. And when I had my Betamax, I still got the tape for some strange reason. <laughs> but um, um, not not a lot, maybe two or three of them. But um, yeah. So I, I I was always into that man. So um, as I was sitting back, you know, picking my beats and stuff like that, and as I when I recorded like the first two songs, and the way I was approaching it, it was I was like, man, hell up. symphony the way they approached the song I said oh yeah everything is just flowing naturally like I'm not telling nobody what to write they doing what they doing I'm giving them the track and they doing what they doing and we put it together but it, it all came right together and made sense to, to, to the title so you know I, that, that's what I use hell up in Queens man you know and I, and I changed the cover around a little bit um you know and uh you know rest in peace to my mom's um I had put my mom's on the cover and I put my grandmother on the cover, rest in peace, grandma, and I, and I got my son on the cover. So that's something that I wanted to do, uh, you know, just to, you know, have them a part of it because they, they're all a crucial part still right now of what I do. 
you know what I'm trying to say? So I wanted to I wanted to share that with the world and I, and, and then put it into my little mold. You know, I got I got the I got the shades on and the and the, and, 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 the, and the wig and all that. Afro, you know what I mean? The afro and all that, you know, and, and it's just uh, a vibe that I had, man, and um and I just wanted to go with it. It was something that was in my mind and I actually wanted to put wanted to put the, put it um, put it out there, put it together. So I took my time and I kept I, I stuck to the script and I put it together like that. Yeah, I, I got to tell the people out there, like I said, man, I had the honor and the privilege to listen to the shit and then me was like, yo, bully, he handed me something in my hand. I'm not going to say what it was and I put it in my car and I downloaded it and I listened to that shit all the way home and that shit is rocking. You have a uh, A-class list of people on this Features. new album. Yes. Features, I mean, and I was like, is. you could... You can't get that many people to try to do that's almost virtually impossible to get some of them names uh, to come yeah. out and do shit. <laughs> and you yeah. know that. I wanna ask you something. I wanna ask you how you how you met Bumpy Bumpy. Yo man, um <laughs> Bumpy used to live in Queens, um um you know, he do the motorcycle thing and all that and uh, a couple of cats from around my way that I grew up with from back in the day, they down with them. Um so you know, it was uh, I, I knew him from back then, but as far as musically, how we got together musically, I just always loved his music. Um, right, right. We was always he always treated me with a lot of love. Every time yes, I see yes. him, a lot of respect. Um, so I asked him, Yo, man, you know, you know, it'd be a pleasure to do a song with you, man. And um, he was like, Yo, man, let's do it, little bro. Let's rock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was the first time we, you know, we worked together when we did the song. Um, uh, my man, uh, Alter Beats from out in France. Right, right. Oh, yeah, you know he, did, uh, he did the production on that, him and uh, shout out to DJ Modesty. And, um, shout out Modesty and, um, so that was an ill joint that we did. And um, next thing you know, we did the second joint. You know, and I, that joint was called Get the City Warm, actually. And um, then we did the second joint um, that we put out off the Nick the Exotic Experience. Um, what type of shit is this? And I said, I, and I was saying to myself, damn, me and his chemistry is real good together. You know, two songs. So. I was like, damn, am I, am I going to do another one with him? <laughs> so I hit him up, and he was like, yo, how many we got so far? You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, this the third one. He was like, all right, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yo, you yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, you know what I mean? So I said, I'm going to send you the track. So I sent him the track, man. And um, when I sent him the track, he hit me back. He was like, yo, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, Kwame produced it. He said, the track is crazy, man. He said, alright, we got to put some shit together, man. We got, to, we got to put this shit together, but we just can't do it regular. We got to do it, we got to do it real special and put it together right. So he said, let me sit on the book a few days on my end. You know, so he sat on it, um, and uh, he came back, and he actually came up with the concept for this song. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, of course, I got my, came up with my own lyrics and all that, but he came up with the, court, with the concept OGC, you know, because a lot of cats, you know, it seemed like a lot of cats be scared of their age and be afraid of their age, and be, yeah. you know, and I be saying to myself, man, listen, man, we should be lucky we at the age we at and that we still really? chilling and looking good, exactly. doing what we do, yeah. and traveling, you and, doing what we, and, and doing and what we right. love to do, right. and maintaining, you know what I'm trying to say? It's it's kids out here, it's these hard. kids it's out hard. here, it's, it's hard to do right. that. These kids out here yeah. running their mile, getting killed for man. nonsense, no... Know what I mean? They didn't even live yet. They, they killed themselves. I yeah. want to know how you got Q-Tip. I was just going to ask that. Uh, that's my biggest question I got. One of the I busiest got, guys One of the, the busiest. Game. You can't even say, hey. Yeah, but, I'm, but gonna I'm going to be honest, man. We go way, way back, man. Um, You know, of course, you know, Lodge and all of them have been friends for many yeah. years, even before I met them. But we, we, we established our own relationships also. You know what I'm trying to say? So, you know, I text Q-Tip a lot. He texts me and stuff like that. We text each other. We kick it. You know what I'm trying to say? So, um, I actually got the beat from him at his house. You know what I'm trying to say? I was at his crib and shit. You know what I'm trying to say? And he was like, yo, Meek, I, I always like your flow and I love your voice. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he said, I got a joint I want to play for you and see what you think. And he put the joint on. And I was like, oh, that shit is me. And he was like, okay. And, 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 and he hooked it up. That's and the system. And the rest was history. All right, you know. can you text him? Can you get a guest? 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 So, so I, 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 I had the beat, right? And uh, I, I laid the song and everything. And originally, I was going to do it with Large. But he was busy doing a lot of things. And I just wanted to keep my flow going. And 
So I said, you know what, let me let me knock it out right. So I did it, and I, and I put my young man from around my neighborhood, Stocks, on the on the, on the hook because he had that swag and that style. He was and he young up and coming dude, and I wanted to mix it up to let the people know that it ain't just about the OGs, but you know, and, and, and certain OGs we can still mix it up with the young ones too and still rock with them. You know what I'm trying to say? So, you know, that's that's what I wanted to do with that. So I sent it to Q Tip, and um, all he said was, "Y'all love it." Big body Ben, what's up? No, Mercy, 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 Mercy Big Body Ben, you brought her on. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know she's in New Order. You know, I saw her twice before, mm -hmm. and then I met her yesterday. Yeah, she's dope, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? You she's, know. She's, 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 she's super dope, man. And um, it was great for her to come to the studio and get on that joint, man. And she bodied it, man. You know what I mean? On some real, you know? And, and, and I actually met her from my friend Elizabeth, you know what I'm trying to say? AKA Queen B. You know, she works at, you know, Against the Rain Radio. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she introduced me to her, and she was like, yo, I, my, my, my homegirl get busy, you know, because I was talking about getting a female on the track, and, you know, not singing-wise, but rapping-wise, rapping but yeah. somebody that was, you know, dope and was in my vibe and, of, of, of what I wanted to do. It was going to bring it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, she came to the studio, man, um, <laughs> she put it down, man. I was yeah. like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So that was, that was real dope right there. So, you know, it's good to mix it up with them, and I had my man Stocks on it, and then, you know, I got Mother Man, Fame, Fetty, you know, just a lot of young up and cats that's, that's trying to get on and trying to make it, and they're real talented. They don't really have a lot of connects, like, you know, up and let's put it together, man, to let them know, man, we can rock with the best of them, man, and, and keep it going, because a lot of times, you know, they, they feel like cats from my era can't rock it. They always call us old school this, old school that. Man, listen, man, old school my ass. Man. Wow. I rocks. You know what I'm saying? I rock, period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I rock yeah. whether you're 22, whether you're 19. I get on the track with you. You're going to think I'm 22 and 19. You know what I'm saying? I know how to adjust and I know how to and I know how to still stay in my lane and keep it hip-hop. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's what I just wanted to bring to the people. Let them know I'm putting together a real, real good project. And it ain't just about me. It's about music, period. And I'm always telling these young people out there, don't disrespect what they you going to be. Oh, you're going to be old one day too. No question. So but then when you respect. get there, but when you get there, if you get there, if you get, if there, you get there, make sure you, you're doing what you love to do like we do. Word up. And you're here and you're still looking good and you're taking care of your business and doing what yep. you got to do for your family and for yourself and all that stuff, man, because it's real loud. You can still rock that song. Right, man. Me and Al right, Scratch and Blah was having this conversation like, you still could do where my homies danger. Oh, all day. I spoke to Psycho Les, like him and Juju, they just got to do. Watch out yep. now, timeless, you know, man. no escaping, drop the mic piece and That's walk it. out. Timeless. timeless. And still get paid for it. Timeless. Mr. Cheek still gets paid for Renee. Right. Let's cruise beamers in the band. Straight up. Royal Flush, get on me. I mean, come yeah. on, I mean, yeah. the, the, I mean, the list goes on and on yeah. and on. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You know, see if their music can last that five, ten year nah, gap. No, it's not because most of it is gimmicks. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. And you know what they say about gimmicks, you know what I'm saying? Dope music. If you, if you dope, my, I look forward to hearing when I put some music on from another artist in my mind and he's saying I hope he got some bangers for me. So if I get disappointed, it's just either I like it or I don't like it. It ain't got nothing to do with me not liking the individual. It ain't got nothing to do with me hating on it. It's just I'm a musician. I'm a fan of the music too first. You know what I'm trying to say? So when I listen to music, I listen to it as a fan. So it's either I like it or I don't. And I do the same with my music. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's just how I move with it. I want to shout you brothers out, man. Um, thank you. It's an honor for y'all brothers, man, for me to be here with you guys, man. Thank y'all guys for having me here, no man. Problem, Cause this is man. real support. This ain't no fake gimmicky shit. You know what I'm Absolutely. trying to say? And then I want to thank all the people that, that, that sent to my music and follow me and what I do. Shout out to my brother, Lost Professor. Shout out to Bumpy Knuckle. Shout out to Q-Tip, Kwame. Shout out to Merce, Big Body Ben, Stocks, Fang, Fetty, Capital, Ruler, Cooler, Ruler, Divine. Everybody that has something to do with the project, you know what I'm saying, as far as production and as far as rapping and stepping their lyrical game up and the producers putting their, putting their, you know, they all in it and not just giving me no bullshit. So right, right. it's a dope album. I just want everybody to go get that. Hell up in Queens. It's official. No bullshit. Videos are coming soon. Merch is coming soon. But fuck all that. The music speaks for itself. Yeah. Straight that like is that. fact. That is fact.